Hey everyone, Fadil here. A uh, thousand years ago, there was this famous question where two bodies of different masses, what happens if you drop them from the same height? And uh, the theory back then, according to Aristotle, was that uh, the one which has the largest mass would fall first. And the reason he pointed out was that, uh, you know, things that are heavy have sort of some seeking uh, force in them in the cosmos. And that is why things fall faster, especially the ones which have larger masses. But this is something which we call an armchair philosopher would say. For a scientist, this wasn't enough. And let's talk about Galileo Galilei. We all know this story where he goes to the top of the Pisa Tower and drops these two objects and where he is able to prove that both of these objects fall at the same rate, regardless of what their mass is. My question is that, how did Galileo Galilei manage to conduct these experiments despite not having the best of technology that we have today? And for that, he used a trick called the law of odd numbers. And we will talk about that in detail but first, let me talk about the experiments that he conducted. So instead of dropping two objects, what he used was an inclined plane. Because if you drop something from an inclined plane, you are able to control the motion. And to track the time, he used a water clock. And that is something he, you can easily make with the, the technology you have at, back then. So what happens here is that if you release this ball from rest, and you measure the distance it travels at equal units of time, you should be able to observe a particular pattern. Now for example, let's look at one second or one unit of time. The ball travels a particular length. Now let's take that length as our unit measurement and let's keep, let the ball go rolling for another second. And there you see three of these lengths appear. And what happens in the next second is that uh, you will see that it has gone five times that initial length. So what you see here is that you see a pattern of odd numbers. And one, three and five are odd numbers. And therefore, Galileo was able to say that falling bodies or rolling bodies follow this pattern or law of odd numbers. Now he still wasn't convinced, so he did this experiment on a lighter object and he wanted to prove that both of them will follow this same law and that is exactly what happened both of these objects regardless of their mass fall at this rate of odd numbers and what he thought was okay if this is for rolling case let's drop them uh, from the same height uh, two different objects and that is exactly what he did at the Tower of Pisa both of them fell at the same rate and they landed at the same time. Now, what is so fascinating about these odd numbers is that you actually see them in your textbooks. Say you stack them up in this manner and you place them on top of the other such that you are making a square number. So 1 plus 3 is 4, 1 plus 3 plus 5 is 9, and 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 is 16. And this is something you see in your textbooks because the motion of an object that is falling under gravity when released from rest, you are able to tell the height or the displacement by squaring the time it traveled. And where did this square number come from? This square number came from the law of odd numbers which Galileo Galilei discovered at that time. Now for me, this is something extremely fascinating because Galileo was able to disapprove a theory which lasted for thousands of years by using some simple science and simple math. Thank you very much.